Hey guys, thanks for watching this video on specifying lockdown mode exception users. Now let's first understand what is exception users. Users which are mentioned in exception user list do not lose their permissions when the host enters into lockdown mode. Exception user list is meant for service accounts that perform very specific tasks. It makes sense to add service accounts such as backup agent to the exception user list. Exception users do not lose their privileges when the host enters lockdown mode. Exception users are the host local users or Active Directory users with privileges defined locally for the ESXi host. They are not member of any Active Directory group or not even a vCenter server users. These users are allowed to perform operations on the host based on their privileges. The exception user list is meant for service account. It is not meant for administrators. Adding administrator users to the exception user list defeats the entire purpose of lockdown mode. Now, in the previous lecture of lockdown mode, we had discussed about a basics of lockdown mode what is lockdown mode, why do we need lockdown mode, and the different modes of lockdown mode, such as normal mode and strict mode. Now in this lecture, we will be discussing about how do we configure exception user list in lockdown mode. We will also discuss how do we provide host level access to privileged users in lockdown mode. And we will also discuss on how to enable lockdown mode with the exception user list and validating the DCUI or host client level access to the exception user list. So let's get started. As you could see that we are logged into our vCenter server SAVCSA01 and we have a data center named created as SA data center in that vCenter center inventory. Now within the data center, we have a cluster created as SA cluster. Let's go and browse the cluster inventory. And within that cluster, as you could see that, we have a three node uh, cluster where we have a host SA ESXi 01, 02, and 03. Now for, the, for understanding the exception user list and their role of exception users in the lockdown mode, we will be referring our SA ESXi 01 host. So as you could see that, let's log, let's click on SAESXI01 host, click on configure and click on security profile. Currently, as you could see that we have a lockdown mode as disabled. So there is, we have not configured any lockdown mode as of now, and we don't have any users defined under exception users list. So what we will do, let's go and first create a new user on our SAESXI01 host. So as you could see that I'm currently logged into my SA ESXi01 host with the username as a root. So we'll go and create a, a new user first. So click on manage, click on security and users, click on the users tab, click on add user and let's go and create a new user. So I create a username as John, give a password to that user, John. So I provided a password to user John. As you could see that we have created a new user called John on this ESXi host. Now let's go and define a permission for that user. So I click on who actions, click on permissions, click on add user. Now select the user name as John. And let's go and assign a permission as an administrator. So I'm just assigning administrator permission to the John. Click on add user. And as you could see that now we have a user created as John and has a role of administrator. Now let's go and log out from the root user. So I just log out to this ESXi host and we will log in with the username as John. Click on John and give a password, what we defined during user creation. Now, as you could see that, now I'm able to log in on the same ESXi host with the username as John. Now, 
this is our ESXi host DCUI console. So let's go and try to access DCUI console as well with the username as John. And as you could see that I'm able to access SA ESXi 01, not only through the host client, but also through DCUI console. And why I am able to do that? The reason because my the lockdown mode is disabled and there is no user which is defined in exception user list. So let's log into our ESXi host with the username as John. So give the username as John, give our use password of users John. And as you could see that we are successfully able to log in to our ESXi host through a username John. Now let's go to our ESXi host and let's go and enable lockdown mode. So let's go and enable normal lockdown mode where you could see that the host is accessible only through the local console or vCenter server, which means that from now onwards, once you enable this lockdown mode, a user should not be able to access or manage ESXi host through the host client. So, and as you could see that a lockdown mode normal has enabled. Now let's log into our console. And as you could see that it throws an error to log out. So click on refresh and let's try to log in to our user. So, Give a username is John, give a password, click on login. And now as you could see that it doesn't allow us to log in to our host client of that ESXi host. Now let's go and add John in our exception user list. So there we have an option of exception users. Now click on exception users, click on add user and give a username as John, click on okay. And as you could see that a user named John has been added to an exception user list. So let's go and try to log in to our ESXi host again through the host client. And as you could see that once we do that, we are able to log in to our host client with the username as John. So as you could see, clearly see that now as, as soon as we enable we add John to our exception user list. We are able to access to the host client with the username as John. So this conclude. So this conclude our lecture on exception user list in a lockdown mode. So as I mentioned, exception user list is meant for a service accounts, not for the administrator. So make sure that whatever the service accounts you are having it, you, sh you should enable, you should add only those users to the exception user list. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching it.